How to Make a Vector Turkey in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. Thanksgiving is coming up, so I thought I'd just do a really quick kind of watch me design uh, a vector turkey video. So I'll kind of describe what I'm doing as I go, but some of this is going to be fast. And so if you have questions, watch the video again or leave some comments down below uh, in the form of a question and I will get back to you um, as quickly as I can. So let's jump on in. All right, a lot of what I'm going to be using today is going to be uh, the ellipse tool. Um, and then I've already kind of got some just nice Thanksgiving colors, some orangish browns and such. And so I'm just going to go ahead and make the body. And we'll probably do some sort of darker brown here. And I'm going to grab a couple other ellipses and put them out here. And these will kind of be the wings. Um, I'm going to make two more of these. Let's make this one a little longer. Something like this. I'm going to grab all three of these. I'm going to go over to Pathfinder. And I'm going to cut them out like so. I'm going to grab these two points here and just pull those in to round them. I'm going to grab this one again and round it even a little more. And that looks really good. Easy way to make um, a kind of wing shape with just using some shapes. You don't have to like draw that by hand, you know. So here I'm making a copy. I'm reflecting vertical. Hit OK. Boom. You don't want to have to draw the same thing twice. There's absolutely no reason to do that. Now I'm going to make the neck and, you know, start somewhere in the middle. This will tell you if you've got smart guides on, which are what view smart guides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control you or view smart guides will tell you if you're intersecting in the middle like it is here. It lets me know. I'll come up, make the neck to about here, come down to about right there. Maybe have it curve in a little. And then I'm going to click this again to reset this handle so that it doesn't exist and then kind of pull back in like like so and then again i'm going to click and drag i'm holding alt and shift as i click and drag this one to create a copy i'm going to right click hit transform reflect hit ok it's on vertical select these i've got both selected now and i clicked again here to get a thicker blue outline as you see come over to outline and you want to distribute spacing with zero which it should already be set there yeah um, key object is what it needs needs to be on and if you if you click like this to select and then click again that will automatically make that the key object so um, we'll go ahead and weld those two together in Pathfinder boom I'm going to make the head and I'm gonna center that like so <clears throat> I'm gonna make some eyes and we'll make those white. Actually, before I copy, I went Control C, Control F to make a copy and paste it to the front. I'm going to go ahead and make the pupil and maybe do something like this. Maybe bring that down just a little bit. We could even change where the eyes are going to be. I'm going to hit the polygonal tool and hit 3 to make a triangle. And then I'm going to come in and make the beak. And I want that to be like um, that kind of color, maybe a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take everything, shrink it down just a little bit because I want to make a hat. And I, again, using the ellipse tool, just kind of come in here and create the base for the hat. Let's do a darker brown. And we'll use the pen tool to kind of make the rest of the hat like so and maybe pull it into here and then curve it a little again I'm gonna come over here transform reflect and bring those together I'm going to do that I'm gonna center these I'm gonna center these on the head there okay um, I'm gonna make that curve a little bit more pronounced and I'm also going to do a different color so I can see it a little better Let's do this. <clears throat> I'm going to bring this up to here to cut out. Use Pathfinder this option. 
direct select to get rid of that. Now we have this piece, which will be darker. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy here, bring this up to the top. I want to round that off so it looks a little rounded at the top here. Make sure that that's, yeah, that's fine. I think that'll work. Maybe we make it a little different color so it stands out too. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe a little less. Something along those lines is good. Then I'm going to get another rounded rectangle. Well, the first time I'm going to get a rounded rectangle. I haven't done one of these yet. Um, kind of make... Mm, yeah, we'll go with the same color there. Um, then I'm going to go object, path, offset path. Let's do... Minus 0.125 inches. We'll make it that color. I'm going to go object path, offset path, do it again. Yeah, same amount. And make it that color again. So there's a nice little buckle on the hat. I think I'm going to grab all of the hat elements. I'm going to go ahead and group those together. Control G. And just bring them down on the head. You could even bring them down over the eye slightly if you want. Something like that. Looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and make feet. Just using the pen tool. Um, let's see here. All right. I'm going to make that the stroke. I'm going to go ahead there. So they're all strokes here, no fill. And bump that up to maybe 15. And then I'm going to round them. So I think that's going to look better. Yeah. We'll just put that to the back. To do that again, you just can use your control, shift, and left bracket all the way to the back. That's a nice hotkey. Oops. I'm going to grab everything. Right click, transform, reflect, doing that same thing again, where we hold Alt to make a copy and Shift to keep it in the same line as everything else. I'm actually going to increase the size of that to 30. I like 30. It looks better. OK. <clears throat> the last thing. Sorry about my voice there. Last thing we want to do is create <clears throat> feathers. And let's just round that fully. Grab these and undo that so that they're not rounded. We're going to grab each corner individually. Probably bring it in. And I'm holding shift and hitting the left and right arrow keys to move them. Um, holding shift just moves them a greater amount than if you... Uh, just hit the left and right arrow keys alone and probably do it right there something along those lines I'm gonna want to use these colors. I'm gonna go to effect um, tr Distort and transform Transform will probably make seven copies that would mean that you have eight total and then we'll probably do Oh, we need to click this button here Just like that and we'll probably need to do 15. Let's just see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and hit object expand so that this whole thing comes out. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it to try and make it as even as possible. Um, I don't want it to be really lopsided. And then I'm going to send it to the back. <clears throat> Again, that's control shift and left bracket to send it all the way back. You can also right click, arrange, send to back. There are your hotkeys. <clears throat> so here it is in the back. I think that looks pretty good. I might raise it a little. And then I'd probably come in here and just change some colors of these so that we have a little bit more interest, you know, something kind of fun. Was it this one? Yeah, it was that one. Yeah. And voila. There you go. Vector turkey in just a matter of minutes. And we used a lot of shape tools that already exist you don't have to really do any of this by hand save for just a little bit of you know pen tool usage and if you want to you can just come in here and even uh, make a little red i don't even know what that's called it's just a red hangy thing on their face you know what i'm saying that thing add a little detail to it if you want to but there you go that's the gist of making a vector turkey in illustrator if you like this leave a comment down below hit that like button hit, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell and help me grow the channel all right happy thanksgiving